Welcome back to Let's Play Gran Turismo 4, Part 59. So, we're moving on to the next event, which is the World Compact Car Race. And, um, I'm gonna be buying a car for this one. And, uh, I'm going to kind of meme it out. And I already forgot which one I was gonna buy. God damn it. Uh, I think it's this one. Yep. We're gonna be getting this. Since I didn't use a key van or a K van in the lightweight K cup challenge earlier in the LP, I'm gonna use one now. Even though I could use a lot bigger cars for this one, but oh well. I kind of like the gray on this, so we're gonna go with the gray. And I'm gonna meme this thing out because it's a little pocket rocket, and I like it. And this competition is gonna be a little bit fast, so. Yeah. We're memeing this thing, boys. I'm putting a fucking wing on it. And wheels. And probably some other random shit, so... I don't know if I want to go nice with the wheels or ugly. It's a hard decision. Actually, you know what? Yeah. I have to put TEs on here, but first, I want to see what the specials are, because these are pretty much just stock wheels from random cars in the game. Some of these are actually kind of nice. Imagine I put these things on here. Ugh. But yeah, we're going with the... not that. Nice navigation. We're gonna throw some TEs on this bitch. Wherever they are. I think those were them, but... You know, I kind of like the look of these. So we're gonna go with these bronze TEs, or at least sort of TEs, whatever they are. And now we gotta go back to Suzuki for some power upgrades. Because this race is unbeatable in the way this car is right now. I'm probably making a huge mistake here. Going with this thing, but... Fuck it. Let's see what happens. Maybe I'm making it a little too overpowered as well. Who knows? I have an idea of what the competition is going to be like, but... It's just slower cars are much harder to get balanced properly. And uh, obviously going to need this. If I could get to, like, 110 horsepower, then I think it'll be okay. And I believe these two upgrades increase the RPMs a little bit, so... More memeing. I would fully upgrade this thing if I was stupid enough, but... And I'm definitely going to need a transmission, so yoink. I'm spending way too much on a car for such an insignificant event. But, yeah. Grip is pretty much not even going to be a factor, so I'm just going to run these anyway. And I'm just curious about the weight reduction. Eh. Not terrible. And... Um, why not? Just in case. And uh, I believe that's more than enough for this thing. So, let's finally get right into it. Meme car versus small cars. Yeah, it's not really a K car challenge like the weight, weight, like the lightweight K car cup thing at the beginning of the LP, but yeah. Also, these uh, races are a little bit longer than I expected them to be. Interesting. Well, first race at Seattle, here we go. And uh, I'm gonna do a practice run, just to get a better idea of qualifying and seeing my times versus the opponents, so... Yeah. Alright, well... 
I kind of got a two and a half second pull. So some nerfing is required. I'm just going to take the exhaust off and that just percentage wise it destroys my horsepower but hopefully it's going to be more balanced now. So here we go I guess. And I didn't actually tune the downforce on the wings so this car doesn't get any added downforce. Yeah. So here we go. And it is on Seattle, so the emulator is going to run a little bit slow. It just normally does that. And I obviously have the big advantage whenever it comes to the cornering. Even though I have standard tires on. And I was debating on taking the NOS off as well, but... I'm not keen on restarting races, as I've stated before, so... Just in case. Cheap wins. Okay, turning in way too early. I didn't drive in this view. Doing the qualifying laps. And uh, now that I'm actually racing against these guys, one second gaps aren't actually that much at all, so... Hopefully I didn't nerf this thing too much for the next few races. And I'm not going to let him pull away from me. I'm just barely gaining on him with the nitrous. That's actually kind of surprising. Probably didn't need to tap on the brakes right there, but eh. I kind of like these K-Vans. If I were able to, then I'd probably buy one, but... I don't know. I'd have to have plenty of disposable income for that. I know what first car I'm getting, whatever I can afford it, it's going to be the RX-7 FB. That thing's sexy. FD would be nice too, but I don't have $40,000 in my back pocket. Plus another 40000 to maintain it. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm not going to be qualifying for the next races, so especially for rolling starts, it's going to be a lot more difficult to catch up to the lead. Also, my wheel's being very loud today for some reason, which is kind of annoying. I wonder if my suspension settings are affecting the wheel any. Like if I put softer or set softer suspension if it will do as much force feedback and make as much noise going over like rumble strips and dirt and whatnot. <clears throat> that could be another thing I could test out. That'd be a really sick feature if it did change it though. Okay, bud. That was nice of you. Take that. And he's going to try to pass me again right here. I don't think so, bud. His headlights are doing some weird shit.
I think he just downshifted behind me because I blocked him. That's funny. Sometimes the slower cars are actually more fun to drive. I don't know why, but they just are. At least with the wheel. With the controller, like, pretty much everything besides a race car sucks on a controller. But this, like, you can link the track a lot better. Linking the track. What is this, drifting? That was totally not the right word. So much noises. Wee. So I'm going to try not to rely on the nitrous and just block him from passing me instead. Eh. Oh, he slowed down for no reason. He could have easily passed me there. Alright, maintain the lead right here. And bonk into the wall, so I should be letting off the throttle for that turn, but too late. It's already the last lap. And I gotta make this turn count. And I'm gonna touch it. Oh, barely missed it. Be smooth through here. Keep that momentum up. You shall not pass. Fucker. And there we go. I did have the safety nitrous on, but oh well. Thought I'd make it semi-interesting. Even though I could have easily cheated the win right there. I'd be using that Pojo 106 if I actually had it. Because I really like those things. So, bazinga. Get our 7,500 7, credits. Excuse me. And it's time for race number two. Alright, well, bad news. Race number two is at Sakuba. The bad part is it's not Sakuba that's bad, it's the rolling start. And the Mitsubishi is starting way at the front, so let's just see what happens, if I can catch up in time. <clears throat> I'm probably definitely going to be using all of my nitrous in this one, just to catch up. <clears throat> So, let's see what happens, I guess. This is a championship, after all, so I don't have to win every single race, but they do help. I don't have to do cleanups of them later on. I think my best strat would just be short bursts of nitrous outside of, or on the exits of turns. Instead of just doing everything down the straight. Slipstreaming isn't going to really help me that much. So, 5 and 5.8 seconds behind the lead right now. Let's see how much that changes. Uh-oh. I should pass. This nitrous is going down a lot slower than it should be. I have it tuned all the way up. Unless I didn't save it. Alright, down to four seconds behind. Actually, we're going at a steady rate, so... And I still gotta save some for actually getting around the, the Mitsubishi anyways. little burst right here. Probably shouldn't burst out 
right there anyways because I got to slow down for this turn so I'm kind of wasting it. Braked way too early right there. Already almost halfway down, but I'm on the third lap almost. Is it the two o or is it the one o six that I like? I don't remember which Pojo it was. When I do like whatever the rally car one is, the super fast rally car. I'm thinking it's the one o six, but that actually looks different. Down to 3.5 seconds behind. Okay, bud. I'll just use you as a... Okay, you'll just use me as one as well. And let me just do one of those. Perfect. He actually pulled away from me a little bit in that section. Alright, let's see if I can make it all the way. This is a really momentum based race. Nailed that turn right there, two and a half seconds behind. Two seconds, almost flat. Let's see if I can get this right. Oh. All right, that's probably the best I can get it. Overdoing it just a tad, but. Damn it, it's hard to it's hard to hit the nitrous button whenever my wheels turn that way. I was kinda scrambling to find it. There we go. Okay, overdated just a little bit. But right on his ass now. I think I'm going to dive bomb on the next turn. Saving this last bit of NOS for the straight and the straight only. Because I'm going to need it, and if I'm going to pass him, I better do it. Uh, I can't quite do it yet. I'm going to have to do it on this hairpin. If I don't get him by the hairpin, then I'm pretty much done, because he's going to be pulling away from me on the straight. So here's a moment of truth. Oh my god, I touched him. I've made contact twice. And now it's a drag race. And so far I have the advantage. Yeah, there was no way I was going to be able to get around him if I passed him after that hairpin, so I kind of had to do what I needed to do. But there we go. That was an interesting race. That's for sure. I think I just got lucky that it was Sakuba and not something terrible like Motegi. But yeah, there we go with race number two, Electric Boogaloo. 7,500 credits and time for race number three. All right, this one is a little bit concerning. Grand Valley. 
At least it's not a uh, rolling start, it's a standing start, so... Okay. Alright, I take back what I just said. I've just been bamboozled. It is a rolling start. What the fuck? I swear Grand Valley was a standing start. But, I guess not, or at least probably not for reverse. This whole thing is screwy. I guess it's not for reverse because there's no starting grid on the verse layout, I don't know. This one I'm probably not going to have any chance of winning in because this one's more reliant on... Or... Oh, no. Yep, I'm definitely not winning this. I fucked up. Some bitch. Not only do we have four laps around here instead of like three or some shit, but... This is more based on top speed and acceleration than it is handling, so... I'm kind of screwed against the Mitsubishi. Pojo... I don't know. I'd probably be in third place by now if I didn't screw up right there. I'm just going to squeeze on by you. Hammer the nitrous. If I would have known it was a rolling start, then... Oh, there is a starting grid going this way. The hell? That's stupid. If I would have known it was a rolling start, I either would have qualified or I would have tuned this nitrous a little bit to make it last a tad longer with less power. But, oh well. Four and a half seconds now. I believe I was like six seconds before the final hairpin. And my interest is already about halfway down. Which is, I guess, fine, because I'm about to be like halfway down with the race, so... Maybe I do have a shot with this, who knows. I probably got out of the slipstream a little bit too early, but... I think I'm actually catching up to him. Just a little bit. I actually have a shot at this. I can't believe it. Shifted way too early there. And I'm carrying too much speed. He actually hit the wall, so that's probably where I'm gaining most of my time. Gonna need the nitrous right here. If I can at least stay in his slipstream or in front of him, then I pretty much have the next the next lap in the bag because I don't need as much nitrous for the final lap. Because I could just block him. Alright, just stay on his ass. That's all I need to do. I can easily pass him on this lap. I'm just doing tiny little bursts of nitrous just to keep up with him. And you gotta pass him right here. And he's gonna pass me back, because I overdid it.
Let him screw up right here again. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Okay. Uh. All right. Keep my momentum up. That's all I got to do. Beautiful. All right. Down to two bars. Just gotta reserve this. And then cock block him when he tries to make his move. Like that. And bye bye! Wow, this is a. Uh, I'm surprised I actually pulled this off. With that fuck up at the first lap. But there we go. Good thing I didn't take the nitrous off. These races would be impossible to win. So there we have it. Bazinga. Okay, I get it. This fucking 20 different menus. And statistics and stuff. So, there we have it. 7,500 credits for race number three. Yee, yee, yee. Race number four, here we come. And goddammit, it's at a Hong Kong reverse. And it's for four laps. And, I also don't feel like qualifying for this, so screw it. We're just doing this as is. And... This one, I'm certain I'm not going to win. If I actually pull this off again, I will be amazed. But yeah, here we go. Also, it's Hong Kong Reverse. I'm not as used to this track as a forward one, but I suck at both. Actually, now that I think about it, I think Reverse is a lot easier. Because of the bottom section, where, like, you go around that sweeper and there's stuff and things, I don't know. And bonk. Actually used first gear for the first time in forever. Making my way downtown. Driving slow. Okay, that emulator slowed down threw me off a little bit. Bonk. Or that wasn't a bunk, that was a hop. What am I thinking? This section I was, I was talking about, you go a lot slower through it. Also, a terrible place for a track right next to a harbor. They could just easily fly up that curb and drown in. <coughs> Monaco. <coughs> bunk. These slowdowns, man. I don't want to lower my settings even more. That's just annoying. At least this track looks pretty. I'll give it that. I cannot get this turn right. Jeez. Ever. 90 degree turns are like my biggest pet peeve. Also, how much does this thing rev to? Jesus. Oh my god. Does it go all the way to 9,000? Oh, and I'm going way too fast for this hairpin. I Ikes.
just say 8,500. I actually slow down a lot whenever I get into the RPM range, so probably not wise to rev into it. Also, yeah, this race is a complete failure. If I would have qualified, I probably would have had a chance, but fuck it. At least I have a race against the Pojo. If anything. see if I can make my move. I'm pretty sure it was this close to him last lap, but then I screwed up here and he pulled away. Like that. Now let's see if I can get this turn right this time, because that would be really, 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 really nice. Holy shit, I finally did it right. Kind of. Unbelievable. And let's see if I can make my move on him now. Also, that's definitely not the car that I was thinking of earlier. Yeah, that thing is ugly. It might be the 205 I'm thinking of. Like I said, whatever the rally car one is. I'm not as familiar with weird European cars where everything has just named a different number. And the people who are enthusiasts over those cars, they know every single number, like... I love the BMW 330i E36. And everyone's like... The what? Random numbers and letters. Uh-oh. Turned in a little too early. Kiss the wall there. Slow down way too much. That's also nice. That thing sounds like an RX-7. It sounds like a stock RX-7. Okay. Oh my god, I actually did that turn quite beautifully. Sloppy, but beautiful. You are not gonna get past me again, bitch. Or, pull away from me. Yeah, that's it. Also, holy shit, the... The Mitsubishi is, like, gone. I just realized that. What the hell is he doing? Nine seconds ahead, pretty much. Goddamn. Well, that marks another race. I'm gonna have to come back and... Gold at some point. Ow. Ow. I'm in first gear. Bonk. Thank you. No, you don't. Alright, there we go. Finally failed the gold on race number four. By ten seconds. Big yikes. 
Let's see, yeah. Our first silver trophy in a while for 5,000 credits. And, uh, yeah, let's move on to the finale, finally. All right, here we go. I'm going to take you east. This is going to be another impossible to win one. So... I am... I am not going to bother qualifying. Fuck it. As long as I don't get last place and I have the championship in the bag. So let's just see what happens. Maybe I'll have a miracle race and win this as well. But I highly doubt it. This is... I think this is one of the most spaced out rolling starts on any track. But at least it's not like Gran Turismo 5 or 6 tier rolling starts where everybody's spaced out by like a quarter mile or some shit. It's like polyphony Y. Like... We're masochists and everything, but seriously? Mm, yeah, I'm s not really. Yeah. Not really well adjusted to this track just yet. So, seven seconds behind, let's see how much that increases. You see, if I would have passed him on the left, then he would have just started to push me in the grass. Every time. Because the AI just loved to bully you. Mommy, the computer bullied me. Can we cancel it? I don't know what that was either. I apologize. Just kidding, psych, you gotta live with it. Haha. -ha. Let me just casually cut the grass right there for no reason. Probably lost time doing that. Little bit sloppy on the exit right there, but meh. Maybe if I cut the grass right here, I'll have a chance. But I ain't gonna do it. I ain't gonna do it. Yeah, I got nothing. I got nothing but a white Pojo I gotta beat. I 
I also gotta stop mini cutting these corners. For no reason. It's kind of silly. And I'm not doing it on purpose, it just happens. Kind of tempted to ram this dude into the gravel. Also, five and a half seconds behind. What the hell? Where did that come from? Yeah, well, that... There goes that chance. Also, the wind is howling outside. My god. It's like whistling against my window. Ding, ding, ding. I got a topic. Took me long enough, but I actually remembered one thing I was going to talk about in this video. Probably a terrible time, because like, it's toward the end. Yeah, but whatever. I've been thinking if I'm going to go straight into the Gran Turismo World Championship once I get it unlocked. Because I think it's just a little bit early in the LP to do it. And I've got a bunch of other events I could be doing, so... I've been thinking I could do the normal special condition events. Or I can do Japan one make races. Or J Japanese events. And yeah. I've already done the European events, so I don't really need to touch the European one make races for a while still. And I'm screwing up again. I thought that was the last lap. What the hell? Anyway, uh, I'm not going to be doing the European one make races for a while. I won't be doing the American events for a while because they already did American one makes. I'm trying to keep it a little bit balanced, so. I might do the Japanese events, honestly. Bonk. Bonk again. Also, I'm almost out of nitrous. I should probably pay attention to that. So yeah, should I... Actually, I don't even know why I'm asking this question, because I'm, I'm probably just going to go with whatever the fuck I want in the end, but... I'm either just going to go straight into the World Championship. I could do the last driving missions before it. Which I'm probably going to do anyways. I could start the special condition events, normal ones. Or I can do some sort of Japan event. I don't know. Maybe I'll just get the World Championship out of the way. But yeah, rambling complete. Another tremendous failure. Because rolling starts. The bane of my existence. So, there we have it. I should probably get the replay for this. So, I'm going to go back and do that. And bada boop. And for winning the championship, we get 30,000 credits, which is meh. I really need to get my money back up, so. Up next, obviously, prize car. And a prize car for this championship is going to be... Huh. Interesting. Classic race car. I'll take it. They're cool. Although useless in this game. Uh, pretty cool still. So let's go have a little look at it. Cute little thing. So, um, yeah. That's pretty much all I got for that. Cute little thing. So with that being said, stay tuned for more Grand Turismo 4.